Hey everyone, Bishi here and welcome back. This is going to be the final part of Soul Set. And just look at this load screen. It's really pretty. So we're going to jump right into it. We left off with Miss White. Where are you touching me, you pervert? I need to touch in order to check. God's woman, calm down. Poke me like that again and I'll hurt you. I'm not even doing any- You know, you are a lot easier to deal with when you were unconscious. You were taking advantage of me when I was unconscious? Why do you keep twisting my words? G Gods! Somebody, help! Oh, poor Marco. Miss White? That sounds like some old lady's name. Just saying. It does. Should we go with purple instead? For all that is holy, don't make such a huge deal out of this. Uh, if you continue getting so riled up, your wound might open again. Just saying. Purple sucks as much as white does, if you ask me. How about violet? I swear, I swear, I'm starting to hate you people. Mariko didn't suggest any names yet, did she? Come on, girl, give it your best shot. Hmm. Oh boy. Um, I don't know. How about... Tabitha. Yeah, I like that name. How about Tabitha? If it makes you happy. Miss Tabitha it is. Going back to the matter at hand, though. We found something in the library. Everyone should probably take a look at it. Miss Modico, especially. Hmm? Okay, if she needs to go, who's staying behind with Miss Tabitha this time? Are you volunteering? Nope, there's no way I'm missing out on something crucial. I wanted to investigate the library for myself as well. Ah, then how about I... No. You two, sort this out between yourselves. Hmm? Hey, how about we play Fire, Water, Leaf? Are you familiar with that game? I am, actually. You're on. This should be entertaining to watch. Fuck this game! A sore loser, are we? Shut up! All this earlier walking around tired me out anyway. I'll gladly stay behind. <laughs> I love Shira. So this is the library they were talking about. This place is huge. I have a feeling that reading all of these books would be impossible in a single lifetime. Wait. This library seems to not only... Wait, wait. This library seems to have not only spell books, but also alchemy-related books. With the right recipe, I might be able to mix up a potion that could help us getting our memories back. Could you really do that? In theory, at least. When I investigated the cellar, I found all kinds of ingredients down there. I could try working with those. How convenient. Alright, I suppose it's worth a try. What kind of books do you need? It's hard to say. I'd need to look over them to be able to tell. Just give me a bit of time. It's not like we're about to go anywhere. Meanwhile, we can show you that painting. We found it wrapped up in some sheets in between one of the shelves in the wall. Now what is so special about a painting that requires everyone's attention? Here. Hmm. A part of it seems to have been damaged by fire. One person on the picture is unrecognizable. But there's no mistake, it's a family painting. And while it's hard to tell who the people on, on it are, I can imagine what Yvonne and Apris are trying to get at. It's because the woman and the girl on it are both blonde, isn't it? You think that's me? Come over here and read the description on the back. 
There were words written in ink on the wooden frame of the painting. Marianne, Kavan, and Mariko Blairnot. Year 206. Huh? Is Blair not your f Is Blair not your family name? I believe it is, actually. Then there's no doubt. This painting needs to be related to you somehow. At first, we thought it was you. But then we searched over some of the books, and the latest date we found on them was the year 256. So if someone painted this thing 50 years ago, can't be me. That's a logical conclusion. If this painting is at least 50 years old. However, something puzzles me here. The name Marianne. My mother's name was Marianne. Or at least that's what I recall her name being. What sense does this make? Perhaps it's my grandmother? Is it common for people to name their children after their parents? Can't say I'd know. It does seem like the only logical conclusion. What's more, if this painting is related to you, what would it be doing here if this mansion, if this mansion wasn't yours or your family's? This mansion? I won't lie. I do recall having lived in a mansion during my childhood, but from what I remember, it's been burned down. Then again, that happened when I was 14, didn't it? A couple of years could have been enough to rebuild it, at least partially, assuming I were to have the funds for it anyway. None of this makes sense to me. Nothing at all. Are you sure? You're not hiding anything from us, are you? I assure you, I'm as confused as you probably are. Please don't fight. The situation is difficult on all of us, Mr. Apris. This isn't Miss Mariko's fault. We don't know that. For all we know, she might be behind the whole thing and lying to us. And for all I know, you might want to be a difficult ass who's trying to make this whole situation worse for us on purpose. What did you call me? An ass. You want to take this outside? No! Mr. Marco, please say something to them. Watching you guys interact is a treat. But Yvonne's right. Don't end up at each other's throats because of a painting that might mean anything. Maybe we'll be able to make more sense of it later on. I have some good news, at least. I managed to find the right book. You did? Yep. Now just give me some time in the dark, scary cellar, and I'll fix up some wonderful potions for us. Are you sure you'll know- Are you sure you'll know what you're doing? Are you sure- Wow. Are you sure you know what you're doing? The thing is written in old Lurian, but I seem to know Lurian quite well. Happy coincidence, isn't it? You might want to slow down with the happy part. I can't help but flub up some lines. Oh my gosh. So hard. Oh, Shira. Hmm? It's Shira. No, I mean, I think that's my name. I seem to have remembered it just now. Oh. Wait, seriously? Shira, huh? You two have similar names. We kind of do, don't we? The question is, does that mean anything, or is it just coincidence? Do you remember anything else along with your name, Sher? I'm not sure. It's hard to explain. I suddenly have this memory of being inside of some kind of tavern. A tavern? Yes, and someone was calling me by that name. But it's all hazy, like in some kind of dream. Well, that's a good sign. Maybe we don't need any potions to get our memories back. Maybe. But do you really want to take your chances with that? Have you remembered anything yourself in the meantime? I haven't. Neither have I. If we have the means to do something, I say we use them. 
Assuming these potions won't turn out to bring us more harm than good. Hey, I wouldn't let us drink anything if it would be dangerous to do so. See, that's another issue altogether. None of us here seems to be familiar with alchemy besides you. How can we be sure you're even telling the truth with these things? You can read, can't you? Do you want me to show you the book? Okay. Time out. What the hell are you guys talking about? We should explain what we found in the library. Well, if there are no more questions or complaints, I shall be on my way. Don't set the whole place on fire while I'm gone, hmm? I really hope this is going to end well. Well, it seems that nobody else is left astray in the mansion, at least. Still, don't let that get your guard down. I'll be out in the courtyard if you need me for anything. So, does this mean we have some time to kill? It seems that way. In that case, I'll head back to the library. Maybe I'll be able to find some kind of book that could help us further somehow, too. I'll go with you. I wanted to see that painting you mentioned with my own eyes. Your company would be appreciated, Miss Shira. Bye, guys. And I'm still not going anywhere. Tough luck, blonde. It seems that all the good places got taken. Blonde? That's my revenge for all the weird nicknames. <laughs> now who's the one with the odd humor? How are you holding up? As good as an injured person can, I suppose. Any idea what caused that injury? Not a clue. Marco said it looked like a stab wound, though. A stab wound, huh? Meaning that someone, or something, needed to be responsible for it. Well, hang in there. It's not like I have much of a choice in the matter. Seems I can spend my time however I want. Marco will probably take a while to finish his work, so I should make the best of it. Do I want to go bother anyone? I kind of like Sheer, or Sure? Shira? Sure. Sure. Her name's Sure. Let's bother Sure. Do you want to take a break again? Maybe. Or maybe I just want to spend some time with you. <laughs> sure. I wasn't supposed to be taken seriously. Oh. Sorry, that just startled me. I can see that. Your face got all red. It did? Gods, this is so embarrassing. I get the feeling that I'm not good at dealing with this kind of thing. This kind of thing? Dealing with other people. In general. Hmm. I suppose I should try being more careful with my choice of words around you, if that's the case. I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. N no, it's fine. Just be yourself. I'll get used to it. If you insist. Would you mind if I take a seat beside you? I promise not to bite. <laughs> be my guest. I am feeling a little tired, to be honest. I'll just let my eyes close for a moment. Give the girl some credit, Dragon. She seems certain about this. Humans are prone to foolish decisions, especially at a young age. She might be certain now, but she'll regret it later on. I don't think that's something for you to decide. Could you stop talking as if I wasn't there? Mark my words. Break your promise, and I shall come back to haunt you to the end of your pitiful days. You need to be dead in order to haunt anyone first. Have you already forgotten that I'm about to do something about that? Don't make us regret this necromancer. Is that a yes? Do as you wish. <laughs> Wonderful. Now hush. This will take but a moment. Well then, you two have fun. I shall be off. Nave! You! Wait! Mariko? 
Can nobody here take a choke? Hey, Mariko, are you alright? Huh? I'm fine. Did you fall asleep? You were muttering something. I just get these flashbacks, I guess. Flashbacks? Are you remembering something? I have no idea. It feels like it happened ages ago. Things from my childhood, stuff like that. I see. So it's probably similar to what I experienced when I remembered my name. That seems likely. Either way, I think I could use a change of scenery. Oh, sure. Alright, where do I want to head to next? Uh, I guess the courtyard. Let's go bother Apris. Alright. Oh wow, look at the shield. Interesting. This game's very visually pretty. I like it. It seems that Apris and Shira were telling the truth. There is some kind of barrier surrounding the place. The barrier gives off a weird kind of energy. I can feel my whole body vibrating under its influence. It seems to get stronger the closer I get to it, too. This needs to be some kind of spell, right? I don't seem to remember much about magic, but... How powerful would a person need to be in order to cast a magical barrier of such size? Hmm... I'll be able to see the outline of a few trees on the other side of the barrier. But nothing more than that. There's also a broken fountain in the middle of the courtyard. Judging by its state, it hadn't been active in years. It reminds me more of a swamp than anything else. Apris is standing by the fountain. At least I don't need to look far. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, be nice to him. You know, you look like you haven't slept in a week. Did you come out here just to point that out? No wonder you're this grumpy. My lack of sleep is hardly at fault with that. I feel like I'm used to not sleeping much. Why are you so defensive about everything, then? Are you seriously asking me that? Take a look around you. You guys are taking this whole situation way too casually. Offering your trust to everyone without a second thought might become the death of you. We don't even know if those guys are telling the truth or not. Hell, I still think you are hiding something from us. That would certainly explain your attitude towards me. I suppose I'll need to find a way to prove that's not the case. <laughs> Aren't you cold out here? No, but it seems that you should go back inside. Yeah, don't mind if I do. I like Apris. He's cool. Ah, Mr. Apris. Miss Marco. Mr. Marco told us to gather in the library as soon as we can. It seems he's finished working on the potions. Well, that was fast. That was pretty damn fast. Pretty, Wow. Okay, so, I have some bad news and bad news. Oh boy. There's always a catch somewhere, isn't there? The first bad news is that the potions have a time limit. We need to drink them in less than an hour. Otherwise, they'll be good as rainwater to us. Okay. And the second bad news... is a little more tricky. It seems that we need to drink them in pairs to make them work properly. Come again? These potions are designed to work from stimulating interpersonal bonds. Shared memories are what make them tick, in a sense. Now, if we were to assume that we're all total strangers, this would probably get us nowhere. But considering we needed to get where we are somehow, I think it's safe to assume that we needed to stumble upon one another earlier, and know one another at least a little bit. No? We probably just don't remember it. Like the rest of, well, anything. In other words... In other words, first of all, 
we decide on three pairs that we're going to stick with for this experiment. Second, each pair will settle somewhere. It's logical to assume that drinking the potions will put us in a state of sleep, or at least near sleep, so laying down beforehand would be advised. Conveniently, there seem to be enough usable beds around here, if everyone were to feel comfortable with the idea. And third of all, we drink the potions and see what happens. If we're lucky, we should be remembering things regarding ourselves and the other persons we paired up with. To be completely honest, that almost sounds like a scenario to a poorly written rated M novel. <laughs> Who the hell comes up with this shit? Oh, Shira, Shira. I'm honestly starting to wonder what kind of places your mind wanders to all the time. Piss off. Like you're one to talk. I don't want to hear that coming from someone who touches girls in their sleep. I was checking Shear's bandages. How many times do I need to? Dear gods. All right, enough. We're in a hurry, aren't we? If you want to argue, leave it for later. Are you sure these potions are safe for us to drink, Marco? Well, safe-ish. There were a couple of possible side effects listed in the book. Nothing worse than exhaustion or nausea, though. We should be fine. I swear, if this makes me puke all over the carpet... <gasps> Yvonne! What happened? Uh, uh, what? <laughs> I don't know whether this is a boy or a girl. Um... Gods, girl, do you want me to go completely deaf? What is... Is that a cat? No, it looks like some kind of chupacabra. Foolish mortals! I am none of those things. I am Lord Mutic. Show some respect. Lord Mutic? Did you hit your head, child? Again? Somebody, give me a knife and a bag. We've all lost our memories, including Yvonne. Hmm, is that so? You're a... Did you just summon me by mistake? I'm your summon spirit. Well, one of your summon spirits. But the others are not really worth mentioning. I'd count forgetting all about them as a blessing, child. There's more? Wait, does that mean I'm a summoner? Poor excuse for a summoner more like. Let's be honest, you'd have more talent in a napkin folding. I, uh, napkin folding? If you summoned me by mistake, then you probably don't know how to send me back either. I do hope you're going to figure it out by the next hour. <laughs> I, I do hope you're going to figure it out in the next hour, tops. <sighs> what a bother. I'm not dealing with any of this. Good night. Huh? What are you... But, my lord, wait! We still have questions for you! You have questions, and I don't feel like giving answers. But... If you're my summon spirit, aren't you supposed to obey me? Am I? How bothersome! What's in it for me? I'm not in the mood. Oh, wow. That's harsh, man. No kidding. What did I tell you about the spark, girl? The goddamn spark. <laughs> oh, he really fell asleep. <sighs> she got manip <laughs> She got manipulated into petting and scratching the evil beast. Hang in there, Yvonne. Okay, we're seriously starting to run out of time, and seeing that nobody really trusts anybody here quite yet. To make things fair, I propose this. We have a deck of cards that I happened to find earlier. We'll take out a king, a queen, a jack, a ten, a nine, and an eight. That's one card for each of us. There we go. Whoever draws the highest card, the king, will get to decide who they want to pair up with first. That will establish the first pair. Then the second highest, the queen, gets to choose next, and so on. 
I take it the trick here is for the cards to remain hidden until they are summoned? The person with the king isn't supposed to know what card everyone else has, right? That's right. Things would be more fair that way, don't you think? If the king happens to choose the person that had the queen, the person with the jack gets to choose second instead. There are six of us, so the remaining pair would be decided on its own after that. Fair enough. It's not that complicated, is it? Did everyone understand that? Any questions or complaints? So we leave it all up to Lady Luck, and the whims of two people. Alright. Kind of stupid way to do this, but sure, why not? I think it's a good way. Otherwise, we'd probably keep fighting about it. I second that. Let's do this. Apris? You guys do what you want. I'm staying out of it. I'll let you decide who pairs up with whom on your own. Because I couldn't care less. Are you sure about that? Yes, I'm sure. Suit yourself. I suppose the smallest card leaves the pile, then. I need to get some fresh air. I'll be outside. Okay. Someone woke up on the wrong side of the bed today. Oh, and before we get started, I do hope nobody will be trying tampering with the cards. Yes, Shira, it's not just your imagination. I am looking at you. <sighs> fine, fine. My bad. You're unusually perceptive if you can tell, though. I'll give you that. I don't think usually anybody noticed. Or you've done it before yourself. Wait, you remember doing this kind of thing? I somehow remember that I used to, yeah? Though I have no idea with whom and why, I just recall the act itself. Does that mean you tended to a gamble a lot? Hell if I know. Or could it be that you're familiar with illusions, maybe? Well, it's a useful skill to have, regardless. As long as nobody can tell that you're trying to pull it off behind their backs, that is. That being said, I'll be keeping an eye on you from now on. Joys of joys. Alright, ready? Wait, we established a system for this, but who gets to draw first? Right. You're going to fight over this, aren't you? Potions don't have much time left. How about we decide it by age? By age? The oldest of the group will go first. And so on. That's a great idea and all, but which person in the room does actually remember how old they are? We can base it on appearance. To me, you look the oldest, Mariko. Not counting Apris, that is. Marco looks the youngest. Okay, fine. I'll get the remaining card. So, after Mariko, I'd say it's Yvonne, then Shida, then me. Ah, oh, really? That kind of makes me both happy and angry. But okay, let's roll with this. No complaints on my side either, obviously. With that kind of com combination, I get to draw first after all. Alright then, so it's Moniko, Yvonne, Shira, and sure. I get the card that remains. Fair enough. Moniko, pick one. It's time to choose a lucky number. Oh boy, okay, um... Are you sure? Now then, I'm sure you're dying to know what card you drew. But I'm going to have to stop you there. Sadly, our time is up. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, that's cool. I was like, what's going on? Okay, so that was the demo for uh, Soul Set. Man, I really, that really sucked me in. I was like, what? Okay, well, there you go, you guys. Um, 
that was the demo, and the full game is already out. It's $16.99 on Itch.io. It should be coming out on Steam pretty soon. So if you guys like this, go ahead and tell me if you want more. Um, I'll make sure to buy it later on. Wait, what? Wait, that's it? Seriously? This sucks. It's because of that stupid cat that all of, all of us got less screen time. A part of my route was originally still planned for this. Don't blame me for your failures. <laughs> Sorry. Don't blame me for your failures, puny mortal. I'm going to sue you, cat. I love Shira. That's <laughs> so funny. I gotta work on Mutex voice. He seems like a funny character. I really like this. So there's there's a screen. Uh, it's by No Bread Studio. If you guys like the game, go ahead and just buy it. Uh, and I will see you guys next time on my next playthrough. Bishi.